Question number five. For the circuits A and B in figure five below, determine the Zener current, IZ, this current, IZ. And the output of voltage, this one, V0. The Zener is a, a 1N5231B. It has a Zener nominal value of 5.1 volts. And that's the voltage of the Zener diode when the current is a test current of 20 milliamps. Let me draw this as an exaggerated diagram. This is a V in the Zener. And the rated value, the nominal value we said 5.1 would be around here. It's not at the knee, no it isn't. 5.1 volts is the voltage at a test current and the test current is given IZT 20 milliamps. When the current through the diode like that is 20 milliamps, the voltage in it is 5.1 volts. And then what? Well, the inverse of the slope here is 17 ohms. And that is what this value tells us. We are not going to use the other two values. Well, eh, how do I represent this inner then? Hmm, let's see, let's see. Um, this voltage here, what is it? Well, that is 5.1 minus this voltage. And that voltage happens to be 20 milliamps this one that multiplies 17 ohms indeed this voltage is 476 volts so the diode can be represented as a 476 voltage source plus a resistor of 17 ohms. This is the Zener diode when it's conducting. I'm going to re replace the Zener diode here and there with this equivalent circuit. Now we can solve the circuit. I'm going to call this my reference node. This is going to be the uh, voltage X and uh, we use M and A. Simply M and A, the current going in is going to be 20 minus x divided 500 ohms and that's going to be equal to the current here x over 5 kilos plus the current in the diode which is x minus 4 76 divided by 17 ohms that voltage is going to be 5.24 volts that is v naught that is this uh, voltage with respect to the reference v naught this is the answer to that question. And the current in the Zener. Well, this is the current in the Zener. And now we know who is X, 524. The current in the Zener would be 524 minus 476 divided by 17 ohms. And that's 28.5 milliamps. The Zener is indeed conducting and that is the output of voltage. What about the second one? The same solution pattern. We write a we write a KCL equation here. Same way as before. Twenty minus X divided by five kilos and that is equal to this current X over five hundred plus the current in the diode X minus four seventy six divided by seventeen ohms. And then we solve for x. When we solve that equation, we find that the voltage here is 465 volts. That is less than this voltage. That is impossible. Because that would be possible only if the current in the Zener was flowing in the other direction, which is not happening. So the truth is that the current in the Zener is 0. 0 amps it's open and the voltage is computed as a voltage divider of 20 volts between those two resistors so v naught is going to be 20 volts 
multiply by 500 ohms divided by 5 kilos plus 500 and that voltage is 182 volts I repeat the zener is off and the voltage here is is just the voltage divided of 20 volts between those two resistors V0 is 1.82 volts and the current is 0 and with that we finish this first assignment you say what about the two design questions well as a matter of policy no solution would be provided for design questions that is the famous NSDQ regulation NSDQ no solution for design questions so we will not subtract from your learning experience which is the growing into a design capability with that I wish you the best of luck with diode questions thank you very much